Hey guys, it's update time on our deep water culture versus soil nutrient test slash nutrient battle. Uh, this has kind of evolved evolved into a you know a pretty big experiment, and I figured I'd start out as you've seen in our other videos. Uh, we thought these were Carolina Reapers. I'm getting tired of saying that, but every new wave that comes, they change, and I still haven't been able to pinpoint what they are. So if you take a look at these, it looks like they want to get the tail. Um, if you remember, I have nine clones taken off the same plant. Two are in soil, six are in uh, hydroponic, uh, keys slash deep water culture buckets. And I wanted to see how the soil did versus the hydroponic setup. And right now, fruit-wise, the soil is crushing it. But back to the point of how these were all taken off the same plant, which this plant this has tons and tons of peppers on it. I, I'd say at least, well, I shouldn't say tons and tons, but has at least 20 to 30 peppers on it, and just to get a size of it. So there's that. And then we go over to this one. The cutting taken off the same plant started at the same time, in here using the same soil, same nutrients. These look nothing like the peppers on the other cutting. These look a lot longer. Um, and I've tried to get a good view, are a lot longer, a lot bigger, and just are completely different than the other plant, or I guess the other cutting. But overall, the soil is going really well. And over here, we have our apocalyptic scorpion, which is taken off lots of flowers, and we got a couple peppers on it already. And for these three, we're using the urban hydroponics, which could be part of how, why it's the soil seems to be performing a little better. And then we had our late addition, our black magic hydroponic felt pot soil and nutrients that we're using on a chocolate bootla and a peach ghost pepper. And we don't have a peach ghost pepper yet, but we have a couple flowers and the growth, you know, these had a late start. I'll try to show both of them. The one on the left is the black magic uh, chocolate bootla. And it's almost caught up height-wise with a plant that was started about a month and a half before it. And I'm very excited because we have our first couple fruit on it. Lots of flowers, so I'm very excited to see what these turn out like. We got them from a very trusted source. So hopefully we won't want run into what we did over here, even though these do kind of resemble a reaper. They, they want the tail, and they seem to be get, getting bumpier as more fruit comes on. So that's the soil portion of it, and now we'll go over to the three nutrient test. Uh, this first one right here is a general hydroponic uh, three set, and there's a couple peppers on it. As always, it's nice and easy to maintain the pH, and in this big five gallon bucket, I'm changing the water and nutrients about every two weeks, so it's not very labor intensive. And the next one, which is back from the dead, I haven't given up on it, but this is the Soul brand uh, nutrients. And there's actually a couple fruit on here, and these look different than the other two, but still from the same plant, and we're getting fruit off of it. And about a week ago, that was completely brown, and it came back. Uh, so very happy with that, but you know, obviously not a lot of size. The third five gallon bucket is the Urban Hydroponics. Super bushy, lots of growth, tons of flowers, and we're starting to get quite a bit of fruit going on these. I uh, have some bigger ones down here, have some bigger ones down there, and you know, overall, super easy with the nutrients. Uh, pH, never have to adjust it, change the nutrients every so often, and look at that nice root growth. Uh, looking awesome and glad I lifted that because it looks like I'm going to need to change the water on that tomorrow Back over to our little pots first one here doing very well is the general hydroponics um, Don't see any fruit on it, but a ton of flowers. So hopefully that will uh, Start fruiting here soon. We shifted over to the bloom uh, directed dose of nutrients and in the middle on this one, we have the Soul Brand Innovation. Uh, very small, but same deal as the other one. This was brown last week, so it's still alive. 
And the final small guy, we have the Urban Hydroponic again. And there's a couple fruit on here, decent size, look a little different than all the other ones. Um, some are similar, but overall very happy with this. It's even in the smaller pot, I'm only changing the water once a week. Very easy to maintain the pH and just overall super happy with it. So it's been a little while since I did an update. But it's not exciting unless there's something that's changed and, you know, we have a ton of fruit coming. But uh, the next one I'll do will be when everything's starting to ripen a little bit more and change and we'll do a harvest. You know, we'll probably wait till there's a harvest of the different peppers. And we have a lot of plans for these peppers as far as hot sauce. And I've already eaten one of these, even though I don't know what they are. They're very hot. I did a video of that and I'll do a video of the ghost pepper. Of me eating it and I'll do a video of the chocolate bootla which I'm scared crapless because of how hot they that I've heard they are so until next time if you have any questions drop us a line uh, if you have a sweet hot sauce recipe you want us to try let me know and we also are gonna take some cuttings off of this chocolate bootla and the peach ghost pepper and transfer that into our basement like we've been talking about into a recirculating deep water culture system that we made which we'll have a video on how to make that and we'll still wait in to release the uh how to make a clone bucket video that we have for super cheap and how to clone off of these plants so look forward to that in the upcoming month or so maybe two months and until then like us subscribe and check out our other videos